Now, one way I guess we can solve some of this is not to bring the stuff with us, but kind of like we looked at in the mining section, using stuff in space, living off the land. And this is how the better explorers in historic times were. Yep. The worst explorers, like <laughs> Burke and Wills in Australia, tried to carry all their supplies with them. The better ones talked to the locals and lived off the land. That's right. So can we do this in space? Now, the moon is not a great place for living off no. the land, uh, but there is pro water ice um, in the polar regions. Yep. And you can electrolyze that to produce oxygen and hydrogen. So you now have water and some of the oxygen you need to keep you alive. Yep. Uh, so that, that's, that can help. Yep. Um, it may also be helium-3, which is a, we're not sure about this, this is a particularly useful isotope that might be embedded in the rocks because of the solar wind over the last four billion years. Yep. And if it's there, which we don't know for certain at this that's point, right. uh, and if we develop fusion reactors, which we haven't at this point, that might be very useful. Um, so that's another resource we could, in principle, at some point in the future use. Yep. It is going to be a problem on any lunar base power. Yeah, so we can have um, a lot of night. That's right. Every so we, 28 days, 14 of them are night. So it's that, a big battery to keep you going through the night. Exactly. So while solar panels will work, yes, only half the time. Yes. Of course, putting something near the poles, there are mountains that are in perpetual sunlight and valleys in perpetual shadow. So you put a solar panel that rotates on one and a cable down to the other. So there are ways around that. But uh, power is definitely a problem on the moon. Yep. Um, Mars is a better place to live off the land, I'd yeah. say. Um, in fact, we've already tried this on the Mars per Perseverance rover. They had an experiment called MOXIE, yep. which was trying to generate oxygen by taking the atmosphere of Mars, which is carbon dioxide, and spitting the carbon and the oxygen. Okay. Leaving carbon monoxide, they dump and a bit of oxygen. I was generating a few grams, but uh, but I mean, I guess if it's you're proof of pro it's proof of concept, and yes, you can always scale things, right? If it actually works and you can get it, you can produce enough oxygen probably to keep someone alive more than the moon. That's right, and that's without touching all the water ice, which is probably buried under the surface of Mars. Exactly, which is another thing you can electrolyze. We know there's lots of water ice on Mars, yep. far more than on the moon. So water, oxygen, yes, we can live off the land. But there's until also, this breaks. <laughs> until this breaks. But there's some other things that we need, right? Yep. Um, and one obvious thing is food. Now, people have looked at this on the moon, and uh, no matter what, it's going to be tricky on the moon. But Mars is a little bit different of a case. So a lot of people are investigating this. Um, I mean, you're going to be pretty tired of freeze-dried <laughs> foods after your 300 days to get to Mars. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a bit of lettuce or something like that when you get there. And, and this is actually one of the big focuses we don't appreciate on, on NASA, and actually one of the reasons they do these experiments in the International Space Station, is to prove these can work. Yep. Yeah. And it turns out you can analyze the rocks on uh, the Moon and the Mars. On Mars, you've got measurements done from the various... Uh, rovers. Rovers. And, and here are your different elements that you need for growing things. And they're all there. Which is not surprising because it's made of the same That's right. boxes on Earth. Which means that, yes, you actually can get soil to grow plants that give you your food, which means you're not bringing that food with you. And as we showed before, you can't really recycle food that well in International Space Station. So here it's yeah. recycled. And people have been trying out all sorts of different things on the and various experiments to see if they can work. And they can look at how well the different things, what fraction of them germinate using simulated Earth rocks, Moon rocks and Mars rocks. And you can actually see Earth being green, Mars being red. In fact, it's not bad in it. And actually, some cases they're getting as better success on Mars than on Earth. The moon is hard, but Mars is doable. OK, so we can grow things there. So that's a lot of the resource. So we can get water, we can get oxygen, we can probably get food. So we can kind of live off the land. Perhaps the main thing we're going to need is rocket fuel to get back. Yep. Uh, and in fact, the SpaceX um, as deliberately using methane, yes. because methane is something they believe they can make on Mars. That's right. So, uh, but Mars, you're yeah, living off the land, that could help a lot.